We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, uh, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. You mean her guardians, bitch? Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Yes, please tell me about this. Alright, so basically, it's just like giving Aeon's abilities. You get a big bunch of items, and you put them on something, and they'll give you, like, strength plus 5%. Shit like that. This is also why grinding takes, like, 50 to 100 hours in this game. Is because you gotta get the break HP limit, so you can have more than 9,999 health. And to do that, you need this item, Wings of Discovery. In order to get those, you need, like, just millions and millions of gil. It's absolutely crazy. And of course, if you want to beat the Dark Ants and shit, you'll need that. Unless you're just going to cheese it with uh, the Aeon Yojimbo. Yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. This concludes what the tutorial. Do I don't know. It'll probably be fine, actually. Now I can't hate on my girl like that. I like Riku. Riku's cool. Riku's cool. Oh, we have a lot of the Guado players here. Um, so this is interesting. All the players on all the main teams, like the Luka Goers, the Killika Beasts and shit, they're all under contract right now, so we can't get any of them until 19 Blitzball games are played and, you know, their contract runs out. Uh, some of uh, these Blitzball players are extremely good. Like, the Albed goalie is the best goalie in the game, if I remember correctly. Uh, Nimrook, I believe his name is. Care to hear about the far plane? And the far plane. This is a super important thing about this game. Ahem. The far plane's the place where fireflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. Okay, and what's that theory? They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery. But maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the firefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> or maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, thanks for your great history lesson, bro. To hear about the farm. Yeah, tell me about the fireflies. <clears throat> they may be oh, great, yeah, go ahead. Flies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the fireflies doing. So magic, basically. In fact... It's all Gandalf power. To do with Aeons, too. Yeah, because we I haven't let an Aeon die yet, but when they die, they split up into like a million fireflies. Unreal becomes real. Oh, but we have seen Belgiamines die. Okay. Or maybe not. Who knows? This is motherfucker. Or maybe not. Who knows? Uh, yeah, we'll talk to you and then get the fuck out of here. Oh, how very is Sir Guardian? Seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. I'm good, girl. I'm just jailing like a felon. He deserves our respect. Are you just gonna repeat yourself? The Maester is also the High Priest of Makalania Temple. So, 
He administers both the temple and Guado affairs. So Seymour, he's come up in life. I hope to get an audience with Maester Seymour myself. And do what? Drop to your knees and blow him? I hope to get an Alright, blah 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 blah. Drop a save. I am getting a strong urge to play some Blitzball. I might play a game, especially since I never did show off the Jack shot. It's kind of a big deal, but a uh, little bit, a little bit longer. Uh, there are a couple items to find. Let's go grab this chest over here. Mega potion, okay. Uh, this place is also really, like, hard to navigate, kind of. Well, there's an Albed Primer. We can see that. Final Fantasy 13! Albed Kabaygan. Sure. The Guado Glories. Fuck them. They paid me enough I'd even play for the Albed. Huh. Depends on if you're any good, bitch. Oh, that's some racist shit. So you think we all look the same, huh? 3,000... Ooh, 3,000 gil. I love that. Yes. Let's blitz sometime. <laughs> that, that sounds like... She might as well just have said, let's fuck sometime. You are very impressive at the tournament. Okay, now let's head up her. Wait, no, this is... Wait, what the fuck? Huh. Yeah, this place is, like, really bizarre. I think I want to go up here. No, that, that leads to the far plane. Is this a shop? I think this is a shop. Because we kind of do need something for Riku. Strength 5%. Oh, shit. These are really important because we're about to head to the Thunder Plains where... Basically, all enemies are electric elemental. So it makes sense that the uh, we have lightning ward all over the place here. How about Owaka? Do you have anything good for me? Oh. Thank you. Because I really need some fucking good shit for Riku. Oh, the same thing, but it's way cheaper here. Yeah, go ahead and equip it. Sure. Yeah, so it was good that I gave Awaka all that money, because if I want to buy something, definitely do it from him. Let's chat with him. Let's see what he has to say. Oh! oh. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plane. Kind of like you did Operation Meehan? You, you did the same did shit! The More than a Guado, at least. What do you say? Well, yeah, we certainly can trust him, considering we gave him all that fucking money. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a yellow targ for Riku. Uh, she has so little health anyway. So. Yeah, fine with this. Let's see. Oh, no, yeah. Devastator's the one I bought. Train 5, and then Lightning Ward. I'm cool with that. Alright, that'll help out a little bit. So she's not just gonna get blasted as soon as we walk in there. Oh, I didn't even see you. What's up? That must be uh, Tromel or Trommel. Whatever the fuck you call him. Uh, da -da 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 -da. let's head down. Wait, no, this is where we came from. 
That's the exit. I know there's another item around here somewhere. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. Aha! Elixir. That's a lot better than what we've been getting. Yeah, the Guado, they're kind of... They're the haters of Spira. But uh, let's go see what's crackalacking in Seymour's house. Yeah, this music sounds uh, very... <laughs> there we go. Look at that hidden chest up here. Oh, a hidden chest with two high potions. Very good. But we could tell some not so good shit's going down in here. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? I would have to agree, Waka. I don't like this. All right, you've got nothing else to add. Thank you very much. Keep your mouth closed next time. Lou, what's up, girl? These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Seymour has such feminine features, it's crazy. Uh, we'll talk to you in a last. Kamari, what's up? Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Uh, <laughs> There's a reason. It's because Seymour is a s slimy, shady bastard. I wonder what smells so nice. There she is doing a little cat attack. Stay close to Yuna. You got it. I will do just that. Why does he want to see me? Because he wants to fuck you, Yuna. This way, please. This way, please. I heard you the first time, cocksucker. Thank you. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. I. Maybe I should customize some items or shit. Uh, right here, right? Let's see what we can do. Sensor. Oh, sensor is really easy to put on shit. I might do that for a couple of our weapons, actually. Distill. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, and strength and magic. They're very easy to put on stuff. Let me take a look here. Um, Echo ring. Wow, we have, like, nothing that's open here. All of the shit we're using is filled up already. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, all this shit is pretty much garbage. I'm looking to see if anyone had, like, a piece of equipment with several open ability slots. Kind of like, uh, Titus's Brotherhood. But you can't actually put something on the Brotherhood. There's a big reason for that. Yeah, okay. So no customizing for now. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Nothing against the Maester, but I hope we get this over with quick. Yeah, no shit. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> What? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkin is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, 
Be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Oh, way to keep an open mind, Lulu. Why don't you eat something? Oh, I've got something for you to eat, girl. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. Well, also, Orin knows about the real shit going down. Maybe you should think about that, Titus? Look at Riku just chilling, eating. Ah, girl, you're hilarious. You're making it too easy to make jokes. Wow, that apple looks like shit in her hand. Look at that. Kimari, <laughs> speak no more. Okay. Yuna, what's up? What could it be? Oh. I know what this... This theme kind of reminds me of almost like a Final Fantasy IX-ish. Like, it's making me think of Kuja for some reason. <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. You'd think with their long, fin-like hands, they'd be Must like I super good blitzball players, praise. but I'm pretty sure most of the Guado glories aren't even that good. Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. Lady Yuna, bring those sexy gams a little closer to me, please. It's got the motherfucking observatory in Final Fantasy VII. Where's Bugenhagen at? Bro, where you at? This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wandered far. That's Xanarkand, all right. As it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Zanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. Yeah, who, Seymour? Don't leave us fucking waiting in suspense. Lady Unaleska. She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska yeah. was entrusting you. Uh, that happens with most kids. 
He wanted you to face sin, as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. <laughs> this dude looks like a fucking Final Fantasy character, all right. Oh, I wonder what Seymour could be saying. I wonder if it's going to shock the unbelievably conservative Yuna. Oh my gosh! What you mean to tell me is that the Grudge Ghost actually lives in your house? Well, we need to get the fuck out of here then. Your face is beat red. So you what okay? the fuck did he say? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? He's like, whoa, hey. Seymour, back the fuck up. This is my you girl. know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to spirit. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all spirit. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so... The actors must play their parts. There's no need. What is that thing away. swinging? It looks like a mic, like a boom mic, like around the set of a movie. We will and do so. whoever's holding that shit. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Yeah, Oren's not playing this shit. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Ah. Okay, so that's, um... A very big clue to something. We'll find out exactly what Seymour meant later on, though. But it's pretty important to the story. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. What do you got? You may not enter. Alright, fine. Fuck you, then. I kind of wish Titus would press Oren on that a little bit more right now. Like... Yo, what the fuck did he mean right there? The High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? Yes. Yes, I am. No way. We gotta defeat sin. Romance can wait. Stop lying, boy. Sure to find time to lay this one on us. 
Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Mm, nah, Go we on. gotta kill Sim. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? You should shout it. I'm going to the far plane. Remember, I'm kids. See my father and think on if this. you like a girl, Go tell on. her. She we can't read your fucking mind. You. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Because they don't love her the way you do, Titus. That is why. You got feelings for the girl, tell her. Hey, girl. You have a big, fat ass that I'm trying to get inside. Proper conduct. Yeah, 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 yeah. 